All right, I don't even know what to say. Bless you. Uh, it is 10, 36, October 26th, Friday. I stopped eating yesterday around 11.30, so we'll just say 12 a.m. I decided that I'm going to do a 24 hour fast. And the reason being is not necessarily for fat loss, but for all the benefits. There are a lot of health benefits that come with it that I'll talk about at the end of the video. It's also about discipline. So I just kinda wanna do this as a practice and being able to say like, no, I'm not gonna eat food for 24 hours. 24 hours. It sounds crazy and I used to think that people who didn't eat for a long period of time were crazy, but it seems that there's actually benefits to it. So we're gonna try this out. The only thing that I was scared of this morning for not consuming with coffee. I'm really not having anything. I'm not, I'm not doing a dry fast. I'm having water, but no coffee. I am having some tea right now that my brother made me, but that's it. Oh, I just went and got a bunch of errands done. Also got my eyebrows done. They're all freaking bleak now. I was feeling pretty good as I was like walking around downtown I had a good amount of energy and then like all of a sudden I started getting a little hungry I don't feel too bad I am slightly feeling a little ir irritable but nothing crazy also I got a DM from someone responding to my Instagram when I was saying that I wanted to do the 24-hour fast they were telling me that they're gonna unfollow me because they think that the 24 hour fast is irresponsible and triggering is the the word that they use. And let me just put it out there. I'm going to explain at the end the benefits for fasting, but let me explain that I'm not doing this for weight loss purposes. I'm not doing this to punish myself or restrict myself from eating foods. I'm doing this to see what the benefits are, to see if it is beneficial to me to see if my body can heal itself or allow my body that time to heal on the inside. Anyway, I just want to explain that real quick because I got that DM. I don't understand why that would be irresponsible. There's so many people who practice this even for religious reasons. People do way longer fasts, 48 hour fasts, 72 hour fasts. I've been getting so many DMs of people saying that they've tried this as well or how much they like fasting and all this stuff. So thank you guys for reaching out to me and telling me your guys' experience. If you guys have ever done a fast, comment in the comment section below. I'm super curious what your guys' experience was. I'm gonna go meet my best friend at her house because we're gonna go shopping for bridesmaids dresses. I'm the maid of honor. <laughs> and I'm super excited about that. So we have to go do that. It's really nice that I've been kind of staying busy because it keeps your mind off of wanting to eat food or just eat because you're bored. They're having moments where I'm like, oh, like I'm about to go home and I'm gonna eat, but I'm not. 24 hours, let's go. I have sardines, what's up? My brother's fasting hey. window is done. Yeah. And now he gets to eat and I don't. Yeah. So fasting at this home, you didn't turn off the light. Fasting at this house is probably a little harder because there's so many snacks. There's just a whole pantry of snacks. And my grandma always offers fruits and vegetables, which is super sweet. And it's just like a cultural thing, but can't do it. So I just got in the car to leave to go meet up with my best friend. And I look over and I I just see this out of the corner of my eye. Uh. Whoa. Can't even have gum, not having anything, like no BCAs or anything. I'm keeping it, no vitamins, nothing. Like, just water. I want that gum so bad, but I'm holding strong. I have the power and the choice, and I'm choosing not to have the gum.
So I just got home from bridesmaids dress shopping and I walk through that door and I open the door and I just get like a whiff of deliciousness. All my Persian peeps know what this is. Oh yeah. Oh. In khayli boy khub niyada. Yeah. So it's a gourmet sabzi. It's a Persian dish. It looks like kind of funky, but it's so, so good. And it smells really good. I'm just like. <laughs> so finally back home, it's about 8.22. And I honestly don't feel hungry. That's not the issue. I'm just really, really tired right now. And I would love to sleep and I could just like wake up in the morning and it'd be over 24 hours, but I have to pack for my trip tomorrow and I really don't want to pack, but I have to. It's definitely helping that I've just been busy all day. I haven't gone to the gym today, so but I have been walking around a lot, but I really need to pack so I can get some sleep because I have to wake up at like four a.m. to catch this flight. Bye. This is my lighting. It is currently 9.36. I'll show you. You started at midnight, okay? so it's almost like 10, so that's two hours away. That would be 22 hours. If you want to take the 30 minutes, it'd be 21 hours and 30 minutes, not 19. Oh, shoot. I'm doing good. I just feel tired. I've been chugging water. And I feel like I can feel in my stomach, like I can feel it doing stuff. That's good. Like actually, I don't think it's placebo. But my brother is driving me to my location. I have to wake up in like uh, four. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna eat right at 12 or if I'm gonna just like fall asleep and then when I wake up I'll eat, we'll see. But so far, so good. All right, guys, so it is currently two weeks post attempting to do the 24-hour fast. So before getting into that, I did want to let you guys know that I am opening up a few spots for online fitness coaching. So I'll have the application in the description bar below. Go ahead and fill that out if you do want to work with me. So I did go on a trip right after I did my fast. I recently got back from that trip. I went on a cruise and ate a good amount of food. So, did I complete the fast? Yes, I did. I ended up actually doing the fast for 29 hours. It kind of bothers me that I didn't hit 30, but I wasn't very hungry at all the whole time. I really ended up getting hungry closer to 24 hours, like almost right on 24 hours. I went to bed a few hours before 12, which would be 24 hours. I couldn't really sleep that well because I did end up getting hungry. So I kept waking up and it was hard for me to sleep. So I ended up eating like a granola bar around 5 a.m. and then around like 6.30 a.m. When I got to the airport, I had a real meal and had eggs and veggies and stuff like that. But it really wasn't that bad up until right at the end where it's like, all right, now I'm kind of, now I'm kind of, count the minutes and hours down. So yes, I was able to complete the 24 hour fast. Some of the things that I do feel like I noticed when I woke up that morning, the morning after the fast, although I was hungry, I woke up with energy. Even though I had not gotten a lot of sleep that night, I woke up with a good amount of energy. I didn't feel that normal fatigue and sluggish drowsiness feeling when I do or usually wake up in the morning. So that was one thing. My feet didn't ache in the morning when I woke up. Usually when I've been waking up lately, my feet have felt achy. I'll get up and I'll like, it'll be hard for me to walk because they hurt so much. I did feel like my inflammation went down, which was one of the biggest reasons I wanted to try this. And I do feel like it helped with my insulin sensitivity because when I, I went on a cruise for a week after doing this, a whole week, that's a week of not 
being so strict with my diet and enjoying foods that I wouldn't normally eat every day in day-to-day -day life. And I came back and I really didn't gain any weight at all, maybe like a pound. So I was super happy about that and I do kind of feel that it is because of the fast. So you may be wondering why I did the 24 hour fast. What are the benefits? Why would anybody choose not to eat for 24 hours? That sounds horrible. All things that I have thought before as well, before doing some research. Some of the benefits I kind of touched on that I experienced, but I do want to make a disclaimer that I did prepare myself for this 24 hour fast. I did intermittent fasting for about a week before attempting to do this. So if you did wanna try this out, I do suggest maybe easing into it by doing some intermittent fasting. Like I said earlier in this video, I did not do this for fat loss purposes or to restrict or punish myself by not allowing myself to eat food. That wasn't the reason for doing this. The reason was because I did want to see what the benefits were for my body if I felt better doing this and I wanted to give it a shot. So with that being said, I do want to talk about the benefits with fasting and I will have resources in the description bar below if you guys want to check that out. Some of the benefits that you can or will experience during a long-term fast 24 hours or plus. So one of the benefits are autophagy. Autophagy happens in our body naturally. It is basically the cell recycling itself. So the parts of your cell that are being piled up that aren't really efficient or being used in your body and it recycles it and creates new cells. It's shown that that increases by 300% after 24 hour fast and increases as you fast for longer. It is shown to improve your brain function, liver function, your insulin sensitivity, your immune system, your digestion. By fasting for a long period of time, you're giving your immune system and your digestion a chance to reset, constantly working, and it never really gets a chance to have a break and have your gut heal itself. So when doing the 24 hour fast, you're giving your body the break that it needs to really heal itself and be able to properly function and not be working overtime. Again, the resources are below if you guys wanna look a little further into it. I'm just here to share with you guys my experience and the benefits that I found. This isn't for everyone. I'm not saying that you have to go and try, but it is something that you can try and has been shown to be very, very beneficial. So if you do end up trying it, let me know in the comment section below. And if this isn't for you, that's okay as well. Next, I do think I want to try one more 24 hour fast and then possibly try a 48 hour fast to see how that feels or if I can even do it. That one seems a little more challenging just because of how this 24 hour fast went. Give this video a like if you enjoyed and want me to do more videos like this, me testing out different approaches, different diets, stuff like that. Make sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed and make sure to also turn on the bell notification to be notified when I do post videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.